Hey guys, so I have here my JBL GO 3 and today we want to take a look inside of this little Bluetooth speaker. So we're going to explain to you how to open this thing up in a way that we can also put it back together successfully afterwards. So we're starting out by uh, opening up these sides here, we're removing those little uh, shields here on the left and on the right side. We're starting out here with the right side. Just using here my knife and I'm going prying underneath there. See how there's these little uh, tabs that hold these covers in place. I'm going to be a little bit careful. So there's uh, I think five or six of these tabs here on the side. And then there's uh, some kind of dowel also in the center. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. And so I'm going to work my way around and eventually it pops off. And then here, this is how this looks like. You see, these uh, there's four of these tabs, and then uh, one of those dowels there. See these tabs here? So that's what I uh, detached here with the knife. This is what the speaker side looks like. You see the uh, white areas, the silicone areas with the for the buttons, the Bluetooth and the power button. And then we have here the opposite side, where the uh, loop is. And when we remove this cover here, then the loop actually stays in place. So I'm uh, just going to remove the cover around the loop. Works the same way, there's also just these tabs here. And then we can just pull it off. So then there is a different video out on YouTube that also shows how this is done. And in there the speaker is a little bit different, the hardware works a little bit different. So you see here, I took a little snapshot, and you see these sides here, they have just these dowels, they don't have those clips on the side, so there is a different hardware version that is out there, so in case you have one of those, then be aware that yours might actually look different. Okay, so now I took off here the loop, see where this is screwed into, and then the inside of the loop, you can see here, this is some uh, silicone core, and then there's this uh, braided fabric around it. So then there are two screws that we should be able to see here right now, one on each side. I'm going to remove both of those. Okay, and then I'm uh, kind of prying this end here, the bottom open a little bit, just a little bit, not too much, just to uh, take a peek inside of there. So I wasn't really sure how to proceed next. And so now what I did was I kind of uh, lifted these two tabs here that you see here. And then in the back, there's uh, two white tabs. You can see those. So I'm going to uh, pop those up next because that allows us to eventually uh, remove the back cover. So this other big rubbery part here, you can see this in a second. See this here, now we can pry this up and there's six tabs in total. So two on the long ends and then one on the short ends each. You see here how I'm uh, working my way around to uh, remove those tabs. Okay, so this is what this little cover here, the back side looks like. See all the tabs, six tabs that hold them in place. And now behind this cover, uh, there's a couple more screws here. So I'm going to remove those. There's four, four more screws that we have to remove before we can uh, remove the grill. See all these uh, four screws in the corners. Also this other hardware variation, that does not have those four uh, screws here in the corners. Okay, so now this is here the uh, speaker. Now uh, we can see the uh, speaker and the passive radiator. And the speaker is waterproof, so when you press down on the passive radiator, then the uh, speaker is going to move and vice versa. Okay, so then here we have the buttons from the top. And then on the back side, there's six more screws now. Three on the top and then three on the bottom. So I'm pointing to those here. So I'm going to remove those next and then uh, it's time to remove the cover here, the back side. You can just easily pry this open, just be aware. As soon as you open this up, then the speaker is not waterproof anymore. So you may be able to uh, close it up nicely and then it will be uh, waterproof, but it may not be. Also, when you remove the cover, don't just tear it apart. You have this uh, cable here going from the uh, PCB to the uh, battery, which is on the back 
side of this case here. See this right in there. I'm going to zoom into it so we can see the details of the battery. And there's also another connector here that um, is attached to the speaker so we can remove that in a minute. And then here there's four more screws on the PCB so I'm going to remove those. The last screw that is behind the cable to behind the wires to the speaker so I'm disconnecting the speaker and then we can pull out the PCB and we can take a really detailed look at that also make sure you pull out the right side first and uh, because the left side here has the uh, USB port so uh, you don't want to rip that off by accident Okay, then here we have the inside of the case. You can see here the uh, passive radiator, which is kind of like a hard plastic and a hard rubber inside. And then here on the top, you see this uh, little black piece there. That is a weight. So it's a, just a little metal piece. I can pull this out really quick. Uh, when you use the speaker, then you notice that one side is like the bottom of the speaker is heavier. So this is just making sure that the speaker can stand right side up. So I'm just going to put this back. Then we also see here the uh, silicone, the holes, the cutouts here for the buttons. The buttons on the top and then the buttons on the side, power and Bluetooth. Okay, so now let's really have a close look at the uh, PCB. So a lot of people always ask, uh, to have some detailed view so I'm just going to uh, give you that here there's not much going on on the uh, on the back side here you see here this rubber rubber nipples here wonder what those are for I'm going to have a look at that in a second Now you can see what that rubber piece here is good for. You see this here, some kind of containment here, and inside of there are the uh, are two LEDs for the uh, speaker. So the uh, white LED or bluish LED, and then the red LED when it's charging. You can see this here. So it just makes sure it just uh, funnels the uh, light to the uh, outside when it's on. Okay, so then we have the buttons here, Bluetooth, power, volume up, play pause, and volume down. And then here in green, that's probably the uh, Bluetooth daughter board. It's just soldered onto the main board here. We you take a really close look at that. Now here on the left we see coming in here the uh, USB-C port, the charging port, has a, like, a little rubber around it here to uh, make it waterproof. It's really not a lot of material here to make sure there's no water intrusion, it's interesting. You can see here on the bottom underneath the uh, connector, the USB connector, how many pins there are. So USB-C comes with a lot more pins than just the regular USB 2. So when that ever breaks, uh, then it will be hard to uh, solder back on. It will be interesting. So you can see here on the bottom, all those pins coming out through the uh, board. And uh, actually there's just two being used, just uh, 
voltage we're just taking the voltage we don't really need the data for the speaker so uh, most of it is not not even connected to anything yeah let's try out those leds now so i'm just going to uh, reconnect the battery for now and uh, turn on the speaker so now it's connected and uh, Speaker is turned on and connected, so the uh, white LED is constantly on. And then when I plug in my charging cable, then you see here the red one turns on. So now the battery is being charged. And as soon as I uh, disconnect the charging cable again, then it's going to uh, switch back to constantly white. Yeah, and this is already it here, the teardown video of the JBL GO 3. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.